Colleen Hall. I'm the home delivery manager here in the Wellesley store. Today we're celebrating Roach Brothers' 60th anniversary. Roach Brothers started in 1952 in Rosendale Square by Pat and Bud Roach. It was a small meat store. The store opened across the street in 1980 and the new one that we're in today opened in 2008. We have demos throughout the store, birthday cake, we have a greeter at the door asking Roach Brothers customers to tell their stories and experiences about Pat and Bud Roach or just as a customer. This is the produce department. We always have in the front of the store what's in season. And we also have a whole organic section that we have signage on all of it. We bring in an awful lot of organic. That's what customers are looking for. Over here we have our florist department, which um, people don't think florist is a big business. They do an awful lot of business. They do an awful lot of balloons. They do custom bouquets. We do weddings out of here. They do the corsages, boutonnieres, things like that for all the proms and dances. And we also have local vendors that come in and do their own demos to promote their products. Pasta, rice. I'll do it with just our steamed vegetables with rice. This is the bulk bar where everything is all weighed and measured. Customers can get a variety of things in here that we don't sell throughout the rest of the store. Over here we have our cheese department. We have cheese from all over the world, but it's not just cheese. The Antipasto Bar is part of the cheese department. Um, they also sell fresh pasta. They sell the higher end chocolates like the Goo Goo Bars and the David Bradley that we had out in the foyer. This is the bakery. A lot of this comes in, where we're just warming it up, but the artisan breads are all made on site. These are the artisan ovens where they make, they pull them out and then they, they cool them on here. Basically one person does all the decorating and the making of these. This is the deli, which is, you know, your basic deli meats. You have your deli salads, which are made in our commissary. Hans Kissel. Uh, up until I believe it's the 1970s, they used to make all of the salads in house. Can't be sitting there making, you know, hundreds and pounds of salads in house. So we started Hans Kissel to do that. This is the salad bar. This is uh, operated on a daily basis. Uh, and again, everything is rotated. We have one person whose job is just to take care of the salad bar during a shift. We have our wing bar, which again is offered all day long. This is our fish department. We've had an exclusive contract with Foley Fish, which up until we partnered up with them, they had only sold to the finest restaurants in town. Um, so we have an exclusive with Foley Fish. Our fish comes in four days a week. Again, for the purpose of nothing being old. Uh, we started a new thing where you can track your fish that comes in to find out where it came from. You put your phone up, you can have the app and it will tell you where it was caught, when it was caught. This is the crowning jewel of the company, is the meat department. We've started offering grass-fed beef. We have bison, we have different things like that. We have all the nitrate-free different products that, that people have been asking for. We also offer in this store that we don't offer in any other is the dry-aged beef. Well, it takes roughly 21 days for the beef to, to age. A minimum of 21, a maximum of 28. It takes all the moisture out of the meat thereby enhancing the flavor and making it much more tender. It's just the next step up as far as quality that Roach Brothers offers. It's very, very popular here. This is our sushi. Um, these guys are phenomenal. They're not part of Roach Brothers. They rent space with us. Um, but these guys will do anything that you ask them for. They offer stuff here that I've never seen. <laughs> and it is, this is all made fresh daily. This is our stonewall display. Uh, we have the largest stonewall display in the company, but we also do the business. The stuff is delicious. 
We also have one person that's just dedicated to Stonewall. This is her primary goal, is, is keeping this filled and bringing in the different items and all the red balloons that are hanging off of products. The food pantry is in need of items, so they've got the balloons on it so people walking by can see what the Wellesley Food Pantry is looking for. The middle ends, we call them, are all, all natural or organic items. That, that switches out every couple of weeks. We have an agreement with Caspari. We do their, their candles, their paper goods, their towels. We have a community um, information board. And then that's the courtesy booth, and we are back.